Hello, welcome to Linmont Tutorials. In this video, I will go over how to set up discrete input bits in Linmont Talk. This video uses a C1250 drive, but a nearly identical procedure also applies to an E1250 or E1450 series drive. To begin, you should have already downloaded Linmont Talk, upgraded the firmware on your drive, logged into your drive in Linmot Talk, and have completed the motor wizard. Please see our previous videos if you would like a tutorial for any of these steps. For basic control of the drive, we need to manipulate the bits in the control word. This could be done by using the control panel by manually overriding the bit values, but this requires a user to constantly be manually controlling the drives. For integration with a PLC utilizing a discrete I.O. control system, you could set up input bits on your drive to modify bits in the control word. To set up these input bits, navigate to Parameters, Motion Control SW, Drive Configuration, I.O. Definitions. Note that depending on which drive you are using, the bits in X4 may look slightly different and you may have more input bits, output bits, or bits that can be configured as either inputs or outputs. We will start by going to input X4.5. We will set this up as the switch on bit in the control word. This will allow us to turn the drive on and off using a discrete input. To select this option, double click the empty circle next to control word switch on. A dialog box appears telling us that we must stop the firmware to make this change. Click yes. Next, we will configure X4.6 to be the home bit in the control word. When switched on, the drive will execute whichever homing routine was defined in the motor wizard. Lastly, we will configure X4.7 as an input to error acknowledge. After all of these changes have been made, we must restart the firmware on the drive for these changes to take effect. To restart the drive, click on the green play button. In the control window, we are able to see the status of the bits in the control word. Similarly, in the I.O. panel, we can see the status of the I.O. bits. For testing these I.O. bits, we can simulate a rising edge of an input by enabling manual override of these bits, changing the actual value, and seeing the result in the control word, as well as on our physical motor. To start, I will toggle X4.5 off and back on again. You can see the switch on bit in the control word change as well as the actual value of the X4.5 input. The operational state says operation enabled, motor not homed. If we toggle X4.6, we can see that the home bit in the control word goes high and the motor begins its homing procedure. Once the motor is homed and the home bit in the control word goes low, the operational state says operation enabled. I have now purposefully caused an error to occur. I can acknowledge this error using X4.7 so that I can resume normal operation without power cycling the Linmot system. Thank you for watching this video. Contact Linmont Support with any questions.